everyone, today I'm going to be showing you guys the fundamentals of eyeshadow application. Uh, this seems to be something that a lot of people struggle with. They don't know which colors should go where and what brushes to use. So today I'm going to be showing you with the Lotus Beauty eye brushes and the Lotus Beauty Essential Palette. Okay, so before we start, I'm just going to explain the sort of basic anatomy of the eye and the sections of the eye because certain colors should be placed in certain sections um, and the terminology you'll need to understand. So if you know which colors and which products should go on which part of the eye, then you can substitute any of the colors that I've used for other colors. It's just the basic principle that applies throughout almost all eyeshadow looks of where to place certain colors. So before we start, um, the most important thing when applying eyeshadow is that it should never drop below the outer corner of your eye where it meets up with your eyebrow. Um, you never want the eyeshadow to come below that because you want your makeup to give you that snatched, pulled upwards look. Um, if your eyeshadow drops below that point, then your eyeshadow will just look droopy, your eyes will look droopy, you'll look tired and it won't look fresh. Um, so keep that in mind always. So the eye is divided up into sections. Okay, so we've got the lid. We have got the outer corner of the eye. So pretend that your eyelid is divided up into thirds. Okay, so you've got the outer corner, the center, and the inner corner. Okay, then you've got your crease, which is where your eyelid creases. You can see that line over there and your brow bone, which is the bone just below your eyebrow. Then you've got your upper lash line, which is just along the top of your eyelashes where you would normally apply eyeliner. You've got your lower lash line and your water line, which is that little fishy part right in there. Okay, and this look that I have created on this eye, I only used three colors. So it's super simple, it's super easy, and like I said earlier, you can substitute the colors that I've used for other similar colors. So let's have a look at the palette. The first three colors, one, two, three, are what I like to call the blending colors. Then the two darker colors on this side are defining colors or definition colors, and then all the colors at the bottom are shimmers, which would usually be applied onto your lid. So to start off, I'm going to start off with my blending color. Um, a mistake that a lot of people make is putting dark eyeshadow on first or putting a lot of product in one area on the eye and then struggling to blend it out. The biggest problem I see with eyeshadow is that it's not blended. You have to spend so much time blending, making sure the colors are nice and soft and blend well into each other. So I'm going to take this sort of cone-shaped fluffy blending brush from the Lotus Beauty Rose Gold brush set um, and I'm going to use the color Rose. It's a nice transition pinky color, it's matte and it helps to um, soften the gradient between the darker colors and your actual skin tone. So you can switch out Rose for Caramel or Stone, um, either of the first three colors as your blending color. So I'm just going to start off by putting a little bit of product on my brush and tapping off the excess on the edge of the palette because I don't want to pack too much product in one place and then struggle to blend it out. So just starting in the crease, I'm just going to blend softly into the crease. You can feel where your eyeball is and where the brush goes in there. Okay, and then like I said earlier, you don't want your eyeshadow to drop below that point. So I'm just gonna sort of softly connect it with my eyebrow, blend up a little bit more into the outer corner, inner corner. It doesn't matter if you get it onto your lid because you actually want the colors to transition nicely into each other. Okay, I'm going to go back with a little bit more, tap off the excess again. I 
can't stress how important blending is. And if you've just used a darker color on your brush, you must go back with a clean brush when you blend so that you're not adding on any more products. You're just softening the lines between the product that is already there. Okay, so now that I have put my blend color onto my lid, into my crease and blend it up towards my brow bone, I'm now going to take a smaller fluffy blending brush and I'm going to use the shade Terracotta. Now you can use um, Mocha instead, um, which is quite a bit darker, it just depends on the type of look that you're going for. But Terracotta is like a nice ready brown, so I'm going to use that today. And again, just using one of the Lotus Beauty brushes, um, just going to put a little bit on my brush, tap off the excess again, and then I'm just going to co uh, concentrate it in the outer corner of my lid and then blend whatever is left on the product into my crease. So we're slowly going from lightest to darkest in terms of colors and shimmer. This makes it a lot easier to blend if you go from lightest to darkest. So just in the outer corner there and then blend inwards. Soften that outer corner as well. Then I'm going to take my blending brush that I used first with my blending color. It doesn't matter that there's still some product on here because it's the product that I already used and it's lighter. So it's not going to make that brown that I put on there all muddy. If your brush was dirty, make sure you use a clean, a clean brush when you blend. Okay, so now that I have defined my eye, when you look at the eye naturally, it is a like half sphere, spherical shaped. So the outer corner and in the inner corner are further sunken into your head than the top of your lid is, right? And if you understand art at all or shadows, then you would know that the part of the eye that is furthest away or further sunken in is naturally darker. It's got that natural shadow which gives it that rounded appearance. So shimmers and lighter colors should always go on the lid. Blend colors should be in the crease and blended upwards and darker colors should be in the outer corner so that it gives your eye that shape. So you're basically just going along with the way your eye naturally looks. Now when I apply my um, shimmer color onto my lid, I'm using this flat application brush. This brush can be used for uh, concealer as well um, as shimmer. It's really compact, so it picks up product really nicely. And unlike the blending brushes, when you apply it onto the lid, you have a very focused area of application. Whereas with the blending brushes, you're being soft with your application and it's pretty much going all over the lid. So I'm gonna use this brush and I'm gonna use the Shimmer Color Champagne. Um, again, you can switch out that shimmer for any other shimmer in the palette. Then I'm just gonna apply it onto my lid in the first and second of the three thirds of my lid. So because I've already got this darker color on the outer corner, I'm gonna stop with the shimmer where those two colors meet. You also don't want to take the shimmer higher than your crease because your crease is sunken naturally so you want to mimic that natural shadow and leave that shadow there so that your eye has more definition. Then I'm going to define my lower lash line. I'm using this small angled brush from the Lotus Beauty collection and again I'm going to use the color terracotta which is the same dark that I used on the outer corner. Again you can switch out the color for another dark shade. Tap off the excess every single time. Then I'm just gonna look up and go along my lower lash line, not in the waterline because you don't wanna get powder in your eye. Just underneath. 
Then I'm going to take my blending brush that I used right in the beginning. I'm just going to soften that. If you found that your eyeshadow has dropped when you have been applying it and it's come a little bit lower, you can always take a makeup wipe or an earbud or some concealer on a brush and just follow that natural angle from your lower lash line up towards your brow um, and then you'll have that nice sharp clean look. So that is basically it. I am just going to apply my mascara and then I'm done. So funny how everyone makes that face when they put mascara on. It's impossible not to. <laughs> okay, so that is basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned the basics of eyeshadow application. Uh, to let everybody know, I have started running workshops for between two and six people and one-on-one -on -one makeup classes where you can learn uh, the basics of makeup. You can learn two different looks, a day look and a night look, and all the technicalities in between. You're able to ask questions. I can tailor the class to your needs if there's something specific that you want to learn. So although we didn't delve deep into uh, all the technicalities today, if this is something that you'd be interested, please pop me a DM or send me an email at infertlotusbeauty.com. And um, I hope this helped a lot of you. Um, the brushes and the palettes are on sale at the moment and there is free shipping so if you've been tempted to buy one of the palettes but weren't sure exactly how to use the colors then now you know and now's your chance you can go and grab yourself one while you can and um, yeah like I said the rules apply for every eyeshadow look almost the same so all you have to do is just switch out those colors for other similar colors Blending colors should always be lighter and matte. Definition colors should be matte and a little bit darker and shimmer colors are always shiny. They can be darker or lighter, it doesn't really matter. Um, so that is a very, very simple look. It took me five minutes to do uh, each eye. And um, yeah, if there's anything else that you guys would like to learn, please let me know. I will be doing a mini series this week, um, which will show five minute early morning makeup routines using different colors in the palette um, and using the brushes as well so if you are in a rush on your way to work or you're quickly going out for brunch with your friends or you're quickly going out for a drink and you only have five or ten minutes to get ready then you can simply just use one of the colors from the palette or two of the colors depending on how much time you have and quickly be out the door while still looking great so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please subscribe give it a thumbs up follow me on instagram at lotus beauty makeup artistry facebook at lotus beauty thanks guys see you next time